Welcome to The Wang Review. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. And in today's episode, I'm reviewing the Gyrocopter's Flash 3.0 e-scooter, which I have here on the table. So just a disclaimer, I am Gadgets, the company that owns and sells Gyrocopter's Flash 3.0 scooters, reached out to me, provided this unit to me for free for review in exchange for video content. Even though I did get this unit for free, all the opinions expressed in this video are my own. I'm going to be doing two videos on the Gyrocopter's Flash 3.0 e-scooter. The first video I'm going to do is an unboxing. I'm also going to review all the different accessories it comes with. I'm going to talk about how to put it together because it does come disassembled. And I'm also going to highlight some of the features and functions of the e-scooter. I'm also going to talk about my initial impressions of riding the e-scooter. The second video, which I hope you would subscribe and stay tuned for, would be about my riding experience using the Flash 3.0 e-scooter. This upcoming week, I am going to be using it as my main daily form of transportation, going to and from work. It'll give me a good understanding to talk about the handling, the braking, the range, the battery life, um, the comfort level of, with the handles. So stay tuned for that one. In that video, I'm also gonna show you some drone footage of a friend of mine who was using the e-scooter for the first time. So you also hear about his opinions as well. So stay tuned for that one. All right, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. I'm going to review some of the highlights that they have on the box. So this is the Gyrocopter's Flash 3.0 e-scooter. So it has electronic ABS, energy saving mode, so eco mode. When it's in eco mode, it does preserve battery life, but at the same time, it does that by limiting how fast you can go. So it will increase your distance. It has an 8.5 solid rubber wheels, has an LCD display, 350 watt motor power, two riding modes, and shock absorption. All right, so I took everything out of the box and this is what, <laughs> it was a struggle. Uh, it was a struggle for me to take everything out of the box, but I managed to do it. So what comes in the box is the Gyrocopters 3.0 uh, operation manual. Kind of tells you about the different features and functions. A little survey here, if you're not happy with it and warranty details, it gives you a little thing on there. Also comes with the box. Which is, the power charger, power brick for the e-scooter. Uh, and then two Allen keys for you to put the e-scooter together and some screws as well. The e-scooter comes disassembled, but the good news is it's only the handle that we have to worry about putting on. So I'm gonna just do that now. So the handle is, comes disassembled. So this is it right here. So what I wanna do is Make sure it's facing the right way. Uh, there's wires in here. You make sure it's all connected, which it is. You just tuck it in. Make sure you be careful not to pinch the wires as it goes in. And then just put some screws in. It does come with the four screws that goes into the handles and it comes with the nice Allen wrench. So let's put it in. After you put in all four screws, it's secured in place and you're good to go. Let's highlight some of the features and functions of the Gyrocopter's Flash 3.0 e-scooter. It has a 350 watt brushless motor, has a kickstand, there's the AC power port with the cover, has 8.5 inches solid rubber wheels, the frame is made of aluminum alloy and has an updated locking mechanism for the stem. The footboard has a rubber bat with grooves to allow for better grip. It's clearly glued into place, which is nice. I turn it over on the bottom. You can see the dual shock suspension for the rear wheel. and it has disc brakes. In terms of wiring, everything was secured in place. Nothing was loose or able to come out. To turn on, hold the button for two seconds. By default, it's on Econo mode, which is the green S, which means its max speed is 15 kilometers per hour. This uses to conserve battery. It also displays your speed and your battery level. 
click button once for the headlight to turn on it and then click it once again to turn off and then click button twice to go into sport mode where the max speed is 25 kilometers an hour. I was impressed with the LED display because I was shot this in the middle of the day when the sun was really high and bright and you could still make out what was written on the display. To turn it off, just hold the power button for 3 seconds to power off the scooter. This mechanism on the handlebar is how it locks the scooter when it's folded down. It has a bell to warn pedestrians. The accelerate button is in a natural position where your thumb naturally pushes it down to accelerate. The handlebar is nice and big with thick rubber and contour to your hand. It's secured in place as I can't rotate the handle grip at all, which is good. This is the new locking mechanism that allows you to fold up or down the e-scooter. It has two mechanical locks to make sure it's secured in place, so you don't have to worry about it coming undone while riding. In terms of the latch mechanism, once folded down, it's easy to secure and no worries with carrying it by the stem while folded. Here I am putting the e-scooter in the trunk of my Honda Fit. The e-scooter weighs about 13 kilograms or 29 pounds and it makes it very portable and ability to carry it with one hand. You can also see how easy it is for me to just to take it out of my trunk, put it down, lock the mechanism in place and I'm good to go. In terms of safety features, it has reflectors near the rear wheel and on the front it has a headlight. On the rear, a bumper has red flashing braking lights Here's my initial ride with the e-scooter and putting it through its paces, and I'll talk more about my riding experience in the next video. Alright, so that concludes my initial review of the Gyrocopters Flash 3.0 e-scooter. In terms of build quality and in terms of features and functions packed into this e-scooter, it would serve a lot of casual riders. And I think this is a great option versus those more expensive e-scooters. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the IM Gadgets website where you can purchase the Gyrocopters Flash 3.0 e-scooter. It also goes through some more detailed specs, which I don't cover in this video, and also shows you other reviews that people have talked about uh, on the e-scooter. All right, so like I mentioned before, stay tuned for my second video, which I will talk about my riding experience with the e-scooter. So the handling, the braking, the battery life, the battery life cycle, and some of the night riding experience as well. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Until next time.